these gurus I'm coming for you. Don't you like my multi-use highlighter and clear? Isn't it stuff? Oh my gosh, what are the ingredients? No, 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 no. I, 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 I don't do fly lately. What's, what's the color you're wearing? Oh, it's conventional. Okay, that's Milani. Oh, so you're not fully green. We don't have your shade. We only have Mother Pearl, Mother Pearl 2, and Mother Pearl 3. Um, we didn't know that black people shopped green beauty makeup. No harsh chemicals on my face. All pure, all organic, all freshly squeezed goat's milk rubbed on my face every single dye my hair. What I do is I use the sun and I, I squeeze lemon juice on it and then I think really hard about it and then my hair turns blue. I mean, I don't use any chemicals whatsoever. It's all from the earth. It's all from the earth. I'm drinking my ginger tea from the earth. It's a lot. Uh, I'm, 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 I have my little candle in the background. Mm, yes, get my mind right. This is very, my voice, stylish. In a vegan kind of world, I'm so proud of my beauty guru, Curls. Let's go. Hey, y'all. Have you subscribed yet? Have you hit that bell that lets you know when I have a new video out? Come on, let's go. We about to expose these green beauty gurus. Let's go. All right, green beauty gurus, I'm coming for you. This is it. I'm exposing all of y'all, including myself. But I'm exposing all of y'all. Let's get started, shall we? So, mm -hmm. I'm about sick and tired of all y'all plain-faced, boring, green beauty. I use one product for my whole face, and it looks the same exact color, and you don't look like you're wearing any makeup. People, I'm coming for you. Look! Look! We know y'all are healthy. We know you not using no parabens, no phthalates, no talk, no red dye, no yellow 40C, no, we get it. But, uh, can y'all tell me if I'm a black woman trying to get my life right with no, with a phthalate free foundation, when the color for my skin it's and also, I'm tired of like soupy, super judgy green beauty vloggers who judge you because you might be wearing a conventional beauty product. Get out of my face. Everybody starts somewhere. Look, let me tell you a story, right? So in 2007, I became a vegan and I read this book called Skinny Bitch. And you know, Skinny Bitch has a very strong use of language and imagery in the book. So... After I read the book, I was empowered, nearly militant on letting everyone know you should be a vegan, just like me, who's going to live longer than you. Y'all, yeah. y'all, yeah. y'all, yeah. y'all, everybody ignored my ass. You know why? Because I was coming too hard with it. Ain't nothing wrong with passion. Ain't nothing wrong with letting people know your newfound wisdom, but y'all, it's a process. It's a journey. It's not overnight. I had to check myself on how I was coming off. And you know what? I do this vegan and cruelty-free and mostly green beauty vlog because I want to. Because it works for me. I'm not trying to convert you. I'm just trying to show you the other side of green beauty. Also, I'm not 100% natural. I dye my hair. I put chemicals in it, okay? I don't always eat 100% uh, salad all the damn time. I be having some chips too. As you can see, fries before guys, okay? Everything isn't perfect. I do the best I can with what I got, and I try my hardest to stay on the path of healthy and green-based living. For real. I've bought now plant-based uh, uh, cleaners, and now I'm looking into upside, you know, recycling my stuff because for me, it's not for me to judge somebody else and be like, uh, why you not green yet, or you not green all the way. 
Y'all, y'all got to chill on that. That is not effective. Now, we could be effective or we could be right. Okay. But like, don't you love my like multi-use, uh, uh, a multi-strobe, like um, lip gloss, blush, and eyeshadow? Like, isn't it so like? Let me put some on. Oh, oh, look at that color. Isn't it so pigmented? Oh, it's so. Oh my god, it's just perfect for my skin, and you can just. <laughs> and I'm ready. Well, to go. I'm trying to look fly as hell. A peach, fucking nude, beige ass color is not gonna make me feel fierce. I need a bold ass red or a bold ass violet purple. I need some lashes. I need some sapphire blues. I need some golds. I need some teals. Y'all can miss me with everything looking like gold and beige and brown. I'm done. If I'm going to go all the way green, I'm going to make sure every single thing on my face is bad ass, is fierce, is phenomenal, is powerful, is vibrant, is the shit. Beauty is not a monolith. Beauty is not a monolith. Beauty is not a monolith. Everyone's beauty is different, okay? We judge often people that wear tons and tons of makeup and like they don't need that much makeup, but they wear it. And what you have to say doesn't mean anything to them. Let them wear their full face of makeup, even if they don't look like themselves. That's their choice. Let them do their choice. If they want a contour that snatches their whole cheek, let them do it. If you want a plain ass, shame ass face, then do I it. went to a uh, indie beauty expo in August and I was wearing a Milani lip, and we were trying out green beauty uh, indie companies, and I was literally judged based on my lipstick. Now, was it a big deal? No, but I noticed a little slight shade that was being thrown at me because I wasn't 100% green. Get out of here. Y'all can't pressure me. You can't make me feel a certain way because I'm not totally green like you. I'm a 38-year-old woman. At this point, peer pressure don't do shit for me. So... In 2018, can we stop trying to convert people and just let them be? And if they come to you, they come to you. Okay? Let me tell you something. In 2000, in 2000, literally 18 years ago, when I was in college and I was 20 years old, I shaved my hair off and I went natural. I've been natural for 18 years. I didn't vlog about it though, right? I had to figure that shit out because there was no My Natural Sisters. There was no uh, Natural 85. There was nobody on uh, uh, YouTube talking about natural hair is beautiful. And especially if you got strong ass, kinky ass coils like me, you not going to find that. I, you still can't find that now on natural beauty. I'm going to have a natural beauty roast on another, on another um, video. But anyway, you didn't have that. So what I had to do is I had to figure it out. Then, after I wore my hair natural and I had all these styles and everything like that, people were asking me, what do you do to your hair? And this is 15, 14, 13 years later, okay? Mind you, people were making fun of me. They were saying that you're a boy, you're a lesbian, and they, listen, that don't mean nothing to me, but people would just assume because, you know, whatever it is, that you have to be, you know, out of the norm because your hair is your natural hair that you were born with. So, eventually, everybody was asking me, what are your tips on going natural? All the ones who roasted me. Now, I could get mad and be like, bitch, I ain't giving, I ain't giving you no tips because you was all, you was roasting me for a good 15 years and now you natural. Okay? I can say that, but I'm not going to. Because you know what? It's all about education. It's all about transformation. And it's all about enlightening and empowering and uplifting. So if you're doing this green beauty, if you're doing this health and wellness, if you're doing this uh, vegan, plant-based, cruelty-free based lifestyle to enlighten and uplift and encourage others and empower others, I'm for you. But if you're out here judging and, and, and being disrespectful and nasty and so judgmental, I don't want to follow you and I'm not going to follow you and you can miss me with that. I am the same person on camera as off camera. So don't let these beautiful makeup looks fool you or these awesome pictures fool you. I just love having fun. I love taking pictures. I love documenting my life.
Because for so long, people were telling me, you ugly, you fat, your hair too nappy, you this, you that. And now, I don't feel that way at all. And I don't really care anymore about what people think. So, at the end of the day, be you. Be authentic. Be yourself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts on the green beauty movement. Bye.